Yes, you can literally change content onto any website. So what we're going to do here today is about HTTP parameter pollutioning. So I know it sounds like a complicated technical term, but what it means is that we can change the way that we are communicating and talking to the website by telling the website, hey, instead of trying to get information from you, which is a get request, now what we'll do is to put data into your website. So that's how we're going to talk to the website. And from there on, we can literally do anything you want to the website. You can change the content, you can change the images, you can upload documents, photos, anything that you want, even backdoor so that you gain continuous access into the website. So right here, I'll show you a very simple way of changing the request method using Burp Suite. So over here, I have Colonix running. And what I can do now is in front of us, we have Mutilidae. So Mutilidae is a vulnerable web application system for us to perform all our hacking techniques on. And by the way, please do not try to hack my website because I will find out who you are. I can get your IP address, I can get all of your details, and that's game over. Just kidding, right? Remember to do only hacking in your own lab environment. So right in front of us, we have Mutilidae. And in this particular page, we have the user poll. So in this case, choose your favorite security tool. So by the way, let me know, what's your favorite tool? Is it MMAP, Wireshark, TCP DOM, Netcat, whichever, right? Let me know what is your favorite security tool. So it stays the following, make your vote count. Okay, so let's go ahead and select, say for example, MMAP. So in this case, I can enter my initials and I can click submit vote. And look at what's the normal process. What is the business logic, the process logic that goes on when you do a normal vote? So now we have selected MMAP and you can see right here, two records found. Okay, so we have MMAP, we have Wireshark. And what I can do next is I select MMAP again, I click Submit Vote, and see right at the bottom, we have two votes for MMAP and one vote for Wireshark. So what I can do next is to intercept this request and try to change how we're communicating and talking to the website. So go to the top right corner. So now I'll go ahead and select Burp Suite via Foxy Proxy, all right? And I have Burp Suite Community Edition running right here. And as you can see, we're on the Proxy tab and Intercept is on. So what I can do next is now go ahead and click Submit Vote. And we have here intercepted the web request. And what I can do now is to very quickly be able to try to amend different ways of how we're communicating with the site. So as you can see from the first line, this specifies a GET request. Okay, so all this information that you see here about how we're posting information to the site, getting information to the site, how we communicate with the site is critical. Your user agent, your SAP, your language, and so on. All these are things that you could possibly try to change as you're communicating with the site. So in this case, what I can do, instead of a GET request, I can change this to a POST. So we are putting data into the site. So in this case, right over here on a choice, so instead of MMAP, I can change to something else. Say I want to change it to another the information, which is Loy, Liang, Yang, and we have the initials as LLY, all the rest are the same, is just the request method as well as the value that's different now. We have a number of choices, but we can see that there's some choices they're not available for us to vote into. So we can literally change those content and details. So if I go back to Burp Suite Community Edition, right here, I'll go and click forward. So in three, two, one, I'll click forward. I go back to the browser, and if I scroll all the way down, you can see right here, there is a new vote. So we just injected new content into the site. And we could literally change this to anything that we want. We can upload any kind of details, data, content into the site just from a simple parameter pollutioning. So additionally, I'm here on developer.mozilla.org. So if I scroll down further, you can see all this already. HTTP defines a set of request methods. So this is the way that we can communicate with the website to get information. So in this case, as you can see here, the get method requests a representation of specified resource, okay, to retrieve data. And then we have hate, we have post that we just use to submit information into the particular website. And then we have put delete, connect, options, trace, patch. I really encourage you to start thinking about the different kind of methods that you can use and the different kind of content that you could possibly retrieve, change, all right, or even upload and delete away from the entire site. So let me know, right, based on this particular hacking technique, what else can we do as part of actually trying to inject content, inject information into the site, right? Let me know what are your thoughts on the comment section below. And like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.